Well, when you pay good money for something, you want all of it. But one family says they never got 20% of the furniture they bought and getting all of their merchandise has been just as hard as trying to get a refund. So there's only one thing to do. Tell Ken Amaro about it. It's the season to return gifts, and while COVID-19 has had its impact, it's probably much easier to return a package this small than it is to return one that's really, really big. While some were shopping for diamond rings and electronics that are hard to find, Wendy Ward and her roommate were looking for a new sofa. We ordered a couch online. November 24th, they found it on retail giant Walmart.com. The sectional sofa was shipped to their Jacksonville home in multiple shipments, but they only received four of the five sections. They said they could either refund us part of the money or we can return it, and we said we would like to return it. Ward tells On Your Side that's where the problem began. She says they made seven attempts to complete the return. FedEx, every time they come, they say our package is too big for their truck. Ward says it's a cargo freight pickup, and Walmart and the carrier know it's a cargo freight pickup. She says the latest attempt was December 26th, and that too failed. Oh, it's just getting very frustrating because we can't be refunded until they receive the couch, but they won't pick it up. $900 later, that's the cost of the sectional, and after several attempts to return the piece, they're now beyond frustration. And I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose our money on it, but we need it picked up. This clearly appears to be a communication breakdown between the retailer and the carrier. On your side, reached out to Walmart, which promised to get this issue resolved. But this is a good reminder that if you're planning to return any online purchases, now's the time to check the store's policy. Canamero, First Coast News on your side. I can understand why she's frustrated about that. Well, if you've got problems, we're here to help. Just send an email to onyourside at firstcoastnews.com.